Welcome to the Josh and Ashley Show. What a delight to join you today, and thank you for joining us here on the Josh and Ashley Show. My lovely wife, Ashley, here joining us today. And, of course, it would uh, only be right because it wouldn't be the Josh and Ashley Show if Ashley wouldn't join us, you know? That sounds about right. <laughs> And you could say the same about me, you know, it wouldn't be the same of Josh and Ashley. And and it's always been Josh and Ashley, but uh, a lot of people want to say Ashley and Josh. I'm okay with that. I figured you mm. would be. Well, be that as it may, one thing for certain is, uh, whether you know us as Ashley and Josh or Josh and Ashley, it makes no difference. What matters is if, if you know the Lord Jesus right. Christ, and that's the most important thing. We're just so happy to be here today. Hey, tell these people how they can learn more about Josh and Ashley and the Josh and Ashley show. Sure, we'd love to hear from you. We are at www.joshandashleyfranks.com. All of our information is there. Come check us out sometime. Check us out and let us know that you're watching the Josh and Ashley show. Let's sing for the folks today, all right? We're going to sing a few of those old classic, gospel classics, as you should say. And I like this one right here. There's a name above all others, wonderful to hear, bringing hope and cheer. It's the lovely name of Jesus. Of the valley, 
heart. He's a fairest of ten thousand to my soul. Take me here, thou just live by faith and do his blessed will. <laughs> oh, wall of fire about me, I've nothing now to fear. With his manna, he my hungry soul shall fill. Welcome back to the Josh and Ashley show. We have a special guest with us today yes. and uh, we're excited to introduce him to you in just a few moments. But before uh, we do that, I want you to remind the people once again of how they can uh, contact Josh and Ashley yeah. and the Josh and Ashley show and where they can find us Absolutely. and uh, social media, all those good outlets. Sure. Well, reach. you can always reach us at our website, www.joshandashleyfranks.com. It's all spelled out. Yep. Um, there's a free email list that you can sign up for Absolutely. there. Absolutely. You can also find us on Facebook. You can find information about our church. Yeah. Um, but we'd love to hear from you. We'd like to know what you like about the show. Um, if you have anything you don't like, don't tell us. Yeah, that. don't tell we'll all those it. things. We'll... But you can also watch some older episodes of our show on YouTube. Yes, so you, can you look absolutely us up there, can. Just search the Josh and Ashley yes. show and we should come yeah. up. Yeah. And uh, you can find our itinerary uh, on the uh, Josh and Ashley dot com. And uh, Josh and Ashley Frank, CDs, uh, DVDs, books, mm -hmm. all of those things. Uh, soundtrack. We have a lot of people requesting uh, about our material. So you can find all that at joshandashleyfranks.com. There we go. Perfect. Hey, we have a guest today with us, and uh, you're Rich going to. in Southern Gospel. Oh, Easter. yeah. You want to introduce him today? No, you go ahead. No, I'm waiting on you. You take it. <laughs> well, I've known this guy for a long time, so I feel a little uh, possessive over him. Today. Yes, you probably do. <laughs> but I met him a long time ago. Uh, I believe he was in the studio one day with Eva May Lefevre, and I met him there. Yeah. Um, but we have the wonderfully talented Mark Fuller with us Yes, today. we do. The one and the only. Thank you. Welcome to the Josh and Ashley show today. Thank you for having me. And you know what's, uh, here's, the, here's the funny thing about this, is uh, um, Mark is not only on the set today as a guest, but he also watches the Josh and Ashley show. I do. I yeah. do. And he admits it. And he admits it. That's <laughs> right. And this is a good show to watch, right? It is. Y'all y'all are wonderful. I mean, the best show on television yeah. is what? It's Josh and Ashley. <laughs> right. yeah, yes. Good answer. We had to try it to see if you would uh, oh, fa yes. fall it's for that. Best. That's good. I, how you been? Pretty good. Pretty good. We're so glad you're here today. It's good to be here. I tell you. Um, those songs you sung today, you know, yeah. I love them. You know, me too. My kind. What a lovely name. Yeah, yeah. And then you did uh, a Lily of the Valley. Lily of the Valley. Different rhythm that yeah. I've never heard yeah. before. Most people, you know, they want to get up and go with it. And uh, yeah. but the lyrics of that song are so good that, and I think we miss that a lot of times. People miss the lyrics of a song. 
because we get it so fast That's or whatever, true. you know. And yeah. um, so it, those lyrics are so strong. I didn't want to miss those lyrics. So y'all are such a good team. I mean, uh, you do a good job singing and almost sound like Jerry Goff. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness gracious! <laughs> You've never heard that one before, have you? Actually, no. You just can just sing. Oh, yes, wow. she so can. Oh, you're a yes, great singer. Can. Well, yeah. enough about us. That's Let's right. talk about you. Now, tell us about uh, Mark Fuller. How You've been in gospel music for a long time. You've been well, playing. Uh, we were discussing earlier about you being in quartets back even in the 80s. So well, does it go it, back further than that? Well, we had a local uh, quartet in, our, in the church I was playing for at the time or was part of. Yeah. And... Uh, but mostly I sort of work behind the scenes type thing and played for churches most all my life. Uh -huh. But then, you know, I grew up loving the piano styling of oh, yes. Eva May Lefevre. Yes. And I just thought, you know, she was just the, the bomb. Yeah. You know, so uh, uh, I went to see them all I could when I was younger. Sure. And then became good personal friends with her. And well. Then, uh, then around 1998, I moved over to what she called her part of town, which is over close to Marietta right. uh, Vinings, right. and started playing piano for her on all of her dates at that time, which included a lot of the Bill Gaither yes, it did. homecoming um, yes. videos, or not really the videos, but the concerts mostly. Right. And uh, that was brand new at the time. Wow. Because that started in 1991. Yes, yes. So anyway. So you've been doing this since then, planting churches, but but you, where, where did you find your love for gospel music? I mean, did oh, you I, did you do this as a young boy, a teenager, high school? Well, or was I, it? You know, I came from the little small town of Hogan'sville, Georgia, uh -huh. and uh, I grew up watching the Little Fevers on television, and um, that program would come on, and even maybe banging that piano. Yes. Out, you know. <laughs> yes. And uh, Little Fevers just it just excitement to me. Yeah. And I told my mother one day, I said, you know, I want to learn to play the piano like Eva May Lefevre. Well, you know, that's... How about I'm that? still working on it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody so, plays like her, but you know. So so are you still... Uh, Eva May's been deceased now for how long? Well, she died in 2008. 2008, so 10 years. No, she didn't. She died in 2009. She got okay. sick in eight, 2008. Okay, so nine years. Yes. So she's been gone. And so you've been doing senior conferences. You've, you've been playing at churches. Right. Uh, what, what are you currently doing at the moment? Well, I have a full-time job, of course, uh -huh. working in IT support. Uh -huh. But then on the side with my music, I do a lot of senior adult lunches and then... Um, also, I play piano and direct the choir at Central Baptist Church. Okay. Over in Marietta, Georgia. Yes. So. Yes. I don't think we've been there. Have we been there yet? No, we need to fix I that. I think we need to fix that. Yeah, I we think need we need to come there. to Central. We know the music <laughs> minister there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So we stay busy all the time. We do. We stay busy. God's been good to us. So you're playing there, yes. and uh, and then are you traveling any outside of the senior lunches and conferences and things? Are you doing not some too churches? much right now? Uh, yeah. I was doing some uh, concerts here and there, you know, like right. down in Tifton, and then sure. Uh, but uh, but now you have a website. I do. MarkFullerMusic.com yes. and you're on Facebook. Yes. People can find you on there and uh, they can uh, locate you and buy your music, invite you to come to their church. You'll yep. come, play, yep. sing. You're not only a gifted musician, but God's gifted you as well to sing and to share that gift. So got a lot of, I'm sure you got a lot of stories you can share about Eva May. Oh, I'm what, sure. What's the most interesting, let's say, what would be the right wording on this? What would be the most interesting road story uh, that you would have traveling with uh, the legendary Eva May Lefevre? Well, I remember one time we got there and uh, she didn't have her makeup bag. Oh, boy. Oh, Been there. That was, oh, <laughs> that was not a good day. You had to make a Walmart run, didn't you? <laughs> no, we had to have Merle Norman. Oh, my. You know, she... she she should have been a spokesman for Merle Norman, but oh well. You know, so we had to find our Merle Norman. That was up at Gaither Fest. Oh wow! Uh, but that was one time, and then you know, traveling with her, you know, she. I can remember being at the bank here in Atlanta. And, you know, the sign said, "Don't turn left." Uh -huh. We needed to turn left. We didn't, you know, it said you couldn't turn left. You had to only turn right. She said, "Mark, don't let a sign tell you what to do." <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. So you were with her for nearly 10 years. 
Is that right? Yes. Uh -huh. Played with her for nearly last ten years. years of her life, but I was close friends with her for over thirty. Wow. Uh, when I was eighteen, I had the privilege of uh, playing for a church in Atlanta. Wow. Uh, where Pat Moore's father and uh, she, Pat Moore, uh, was the first female singer besides Eva May with uh -huh. the group. Wow. And so uh, I got to know her personally through that. And uh, wow. even though I went every time, I guess they got tired, you know, <laughs> you know, how they have yes. groupie. Yes, I was yes, groupie. yes, yes. No shame. No shame no in shame. that. Mm -hmm. and, and we, you know, we are, uh, we love this genre of music. Mm -hmm. We love Southern gospel music. And, uh, and so. I always say, what would Jesus listen to? Oh, I believe he would listen to <laughs> Southern gospel music. Of course. Mm -hmm. Of course he would. <laughs> and, uh, and, and you know, to, to be able to, um, uh, know people such as Eva May, and here just in the last uh, several weeks, we've had special guests on our show such as Ronnie Henson and and Larry Henson and and Dr. Jerry Goff and Little Jan, and all of these people who have paved the way for us. Because gospel music, as we know of it, Southern gospel music, was founded by James D. Vaughn right. in a little place called Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. Right. Put quartets on the road, singing quartet music, and it evolved now into what we know as Southern yes. gospel music. And so those people have paved the way for us that we can continue on, and many of them uh, that, that we love are gone on to be the Lord, Eva May and J.D. and Jake and Hovey, and the list goes on and on and on. Well, you know, I like to think that Eva May sort of helped pave the way for the yes. ladies and, because, you know, she was, you did have Mom Spear and you had some yes. shut wagon gang, but Eva May was out front and outspoken when a Most woman definitely. was supposed to be silent. Most definitely. During that time, you yes. know. Yes, yes. Um, but uh, also, I remember I was th thankful for the, fact of being with the her during the Gaither homecoming concert. Yes. I can remember one time and because um, I got to be around you know Howard and Vestal and a lot of the people there and I remember we were in Chattanooga one night and um, they started with this uh, when morning sweeps the eastern sky. Oh boy. And it's Howard and Vestal. Oh and boy. Johnny. I tell you what. It I got on. <laughs> <laughs> I That's thought I great. Was to run from there. That is great. <laughs> but but I but I said all that to say uh -huh. this. Thankfully, we have those pioneers who've paid the mm -hmm. way that we can continue today. Yeah. One of those pioneers also is Joel Hemphill of the great yes. Hemphill family, and he wrote a song, "Every Need Supplied." And I love the lyrics of this song, and I want you to sing it for us today. All right. Can you do that? I'll do that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're so glad to have Mark Fuller with us. I want you to give him a nice welcome one more time here to the Josh and Ashley show as he comes to sing for us. All right. I just 
Welcome back to the Josh and Ashley Show. We've had a great show today, and I'm so thankful that Mark Fuller come by to be with us. And I want to say this to uh, those of you that are watching today. Uh, if God has given you a gift, and I, I, I push this uh, so strongly, and I feel so strongly about this. If God has given you a gift, uh, musical ability uh, to sing, to, uh, to speak, to uh, play an instrument, whatever that it is, I encourage you to use it for the glory of the Lord and use it for the cause of Christ. Allow God to use you so that you can touch others and uh, that hopefully the kingdom of God can be won through your gift of your ability. And it's important. that That's, that's the reason that we're here, yes. as, uh, to be a beacon and a light so that others can see Jesus in us. And again, we're praying for you. We love you and appreciate you so very much. You know, as Mark was singing that song a few minutes ago, and I was, I was thinking back of how God has met our needs and supplied for us and taken such good care of us. And I think how blessed that we are. And uh, maybe there's some watching today, maybe there's not as fortunate as us. And, and maybe Maybe you're struggling. Maybe you're going through some heartaches, some difficulties, some situations in your life. I want you to know today that the Bible teaches us in the great uh, book of Philippians that my God shall supply all of our needs according to his riches and glory. And if you'll hold on to Jesus Christ for whatever need that it is in your life, I believe he's going to supply that need mm -hmm. for you and he's going to meet that need. And you know that blessed me and I'm so thankful for those words of encouragement today. Anything else in your heart before we leave today? Uh, you know, just so thankful and so thankful for all of you that watch us each and every week. A blessing. And, um, yeah, just had such a great time today. Mark Fuller is one of my favorite people. Yes, he is. And, and you know what? We want him to play that piano today. We want him to show off his uh, uh, his reminiscing of Eva May Lefebvre <laughs> because I'm telling you, if anybody can do it, he can because right. there's one thing that I found out a few minutes ago that windshield wipers are not just only on cars. <laughs> they're on Mike Fuller's hands <laughs> as well because I'm telling you, Mark Fuller, because when he goes to playing, buddy, they just go every which way. Hey, folks, we love you. God bless you. Thanks for watching the Josh and Ashley Show. Here he is one more time for you, Mark Fuller. <laughs>